Oh boy, here we go again. <laughs> Hello my friends, Jetronis here. You know it is a very special day when we have a new item from Mr. Louis Vuitton. Now quickly, I do want to say thank you so much for everyone who has watched the YSL Clutch video. You guys, I did not expect it to get that much views in a couple days, like mind blowing. So thank you so much. I think the algorithm really helped it. And hello to my new subbies. Welcome to the family. Moving on, a couple months ago I did purchase the Louis Vuitton Keepall XS in the Monogram Eclipse Reverse canvas and I will link the video here if you haven't seen it. But that bag you guys, mm, chef kiss. I still love that handbag and I do think it is worth every penny even though the price point is insane. Low key, I kind of have to force myself to stop using it so I can use my other handbags i know i know but the more i use it the more i realize i really love this print because of the color black and gray it just goes with everything so i knew i was going to add an slg from this print but i wasn't sure which slg i would you know buy so finally today is the day we have a new addition to the key pouch family and i'm so excited to show you guys because i do think it is going to be pretty popular probably going to sell out so let's Let's just see it. As you are familiar with Louis Vuitton, here is the classic orange bag and reaching inside you do see the little box that comes with it. Open the bag up and dust bag. Introducing this here is the Louis Vuitton clay in the monogram eclipse reverse canvas and as you can see it totally matches my keep all excess. <laughs> now let me tell you I don't know what took Louis Vuitton so long to come out with this print in this key pouch because I mean this is what I've been manifesting Testing. This isn't the first time we have seen this print on this clay. If we do go back two years ago, back in June of 2020, Louis Vuitton did release a handbag called the Trio Messenger and on the strap was an attached clay that looks like this. Everyone just went crazy because we have never seen it before. Surprisingly, it sold out and then resellers just trying to resell the bag for like a higher price. The only difference between that clay and this one here is that this does have a chain like the original clay does and that one just has a d-ring on the outside now i'm pretty sure louis vuitton did see the popularity of the clay onto that trio messenger and of course they want to make profits so they decided to bring this print back to the original clay and yeah have it in their permanent collection as of now i don't think this is limited edition i do think this is going to be here for a while but you know with louis vuitton you just never know so if you do want this item you should probably go get it pretty soon all right so with the review out of the way let's get into the details and comparison for this clay so currently this does retail for 325 dollars usd with tax i did pay 345 dollars if you're not familiar with the price increase this has definitely gone up so much i remember my first clay i paid like 200 dollars for back in 2014 and then it went up to 10 to 20 i think 245 and then the latest was 270 now it retails for 325 dollars in my opinion i still think it's still attainable i feel like you're not really breaking the bank if you do want an lv clay but if this ever gets to like 450 500 that is when i tell you do not buy it because i really don't think it's worth that much that's just my two cents if you want to know my thoughts on it the monogram eclipse reverse was released on april 30th 2022 and it does feature the signature monogram coated canvas with the silver hardware zip closure and chain with the hook unzipping the zipper inside is lined with grain cowhide leather and of course it does have the embossed logo that says louis vuitton paris made in france here are the measurements 4.7 in length 2.8 in height and 0.4 in width by now i'm pretty sure you know what fits inside of the key pouch because hello it's everywhere on youtube but it really does fit your cards photo cash coins keys and small other little knickknacks if you want to put inside the clays are so versatile you can definitely use this as a bag charm i've seen people turn this into like a little micro crossbody bag or you can even clip it inside of a bigger louis vuitton bag with the d-ring hook on to some comparisons because we love to see more eye candy so the first comparison i have is the dami e bean print i purchased this back in 2014 and as you can see it is a little chipped though but for the most part still intact 
pack and I love the older thicker canvas. The second clay we have is the Dami graphite print. Pretty much they look like brothers because they are black and gray so that is nice. I did do a whole video of this so if you would like to go see me rant about this clay when I purchase it I will link it here. You know I spilled some tea okay I spilled a little tea on that clay. Last but not least is the clay from the Groomsman collection which is in the monogram. I believe this was made back in 2006 but yeah it's kind of cool to see it side by side. The oldest clay meets the newest clay. Unfortunately I don't have the last color to compare which is the Dami Azor print. To be honest I feel like it would get pretty dirty and I have seen some on the pre-love sites does not look good so that is why i don't think i would ever purchase it oh yeah and before i forget we have to compare the keep all excess so here it is next to the keep all they look very identical in terms of the color and print again you can use this clay as a bag charm i did put it on the zipper pull it looks kind of cute i personally would never use it like this but if you want to there's an option on to how this clay feels and as you can see it is so flexible my goodness it just seems like the canvas just gets thinner and thinner every year which are we surprised? Not really. Now in my other videos I have kind of complained about this and I really don't like the newer canvas just because of this reason. It really just doesn't feel as luxury as it used to be and this is why I am being very selective on buying from Louis Vuitton. We're paying so much money for it. The item should feel really nice and quality. Am I wrong? But I will give it an exception for this because again collector of a clay, love this print, it just makes sense for me to have this in my collection. So yeah, in total I have four now, so I am happy to say this is probably going to be my last clay in my collection just because do I need any more? I, I don't need any more, this is enough. But also, you know, with the quality control and just the price increase, I am trying to be a little bit mindful from Louis and be very selective. If they do come up with something very fun, very colorful, maybe like the multi monogram, hopefully one day in the future, I may have to buy it but until then I'm good with four I'm good with four but yeah if you do want this item definitely go to your local boutique see if they have it if not try to order from an essay um, because that is probably the best way to get it act fast though because again we never know when there's going to be another price increase and if you can save you know 20 or 30 dollars why wouldn't you and shout out to my essay for pre-ordering this item for me because without her I would not be making this video so thank you again <laughs> let me know in the comments down below if you are going to pick up this new clay from Louis Vuitton or do you like the monogram eclipse reverse um, because I know this is definitely a popular item but yeah if you are new here please consider subscribing to my channel get this video a thumbs up because it will help me in the long run and of course I will talk to you guys soon in the next have a great one bye